Welcome to Fair Nava and welcome, welcome to our, our channel. channel. Okay, so today we decided since we are social distancing and quarantining ourselves, we would do the get to know me tag. So we have a total of 25 questions that we're going to ask so you can get to know us. So we're going to both ask them, but we're going to take turns asking the questions. So I guess I'll go first. Okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. The first one is, what is your middle name? Well, my middle name, for most of you who do not know, is Dominique. Hence, my name, Sancera Dominique. All right. And my middle name is Tafera. That's what I go by. We usually go by our middle name. So, yes. It's easier go. to say for me. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, what's your favorite drink? Mm. <laughs> my favorite drink is wine. And what's yours? Um, I would have to say my favorite drink is coffee. Really? Yeah. I could drink coffee right. in the morning, hot or cold. I could drink it randomly in the day. I can drink it right before bed. I just love the taste of coffee. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what is your favorite song at the moment? At the moment. I would say to date, my favorite song. It's such a short song. The best songs are always so short, but it's off of Janae's uh, Chalambo album, and it's called "Pray for You." I love, love, love that song. Lyrically, that song is just. Were we listening to that in the car? And I was like, "Who is that?" Mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, my <laughs> favorite one at the moment, and. I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting the actual artist name, but it's with Lenny Kravitz and it's called Borders right now. I've heard it a long time ago, but I've just been on a binge with it for the past like month or two. I'm going to try to remember the actual name and insert it, but the title of the song is called Borders. It's, with, it's featuring Lenny Kravitz. So, okay. yeah. So, uh, okay. What would you or have you named your children? Okay, so I don't have any kids, unfortunately, at the moment. I do want some. But I don't know if I want to tell the names because I don't want nobody to take them. But I will say one thing. I plan on naming my first and second child Gorman. Gorman is a tribal name from my dad's side of the family. And his tribal mother, who is part of the tribe, named him that. So I want to keep that name in our family. And hopefully we can actually go to the reservation he used to go to when he was younger. So... They're definitely going to have the name Gorman somewhere in there, be it hyphenated or something. So, I definitely plan on naming my children Gorman. Okay. Well, I do have two children. And my heavenly child, uh, my oldest is Joel. And my earthly child, my youngest, is Ania. And her name means uh, blissful. And we know that. Joel, Joel, that's in the Bible. It's the biblical name. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It says, have you participated in any sports? I have. So, in middle school, I ran track. And um, I did gymnastics. And um, high school, I attempted at track again. But, yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> but, um, yeah, track is like my favorite sport as a female um i like sports in general okay i did uh majorette i don't know if they still have that but i did that in like elementary school and middle school um we did gymnastics for a couple of years and then i tried basketball and uh but my favorite sport and i, I didn't do it as a sport i did it for fun anytime I could is swimming. Mm -hmm. So if I could do anything she swims like a dolphin. I would I would swim like professionally or something like that. So okay. yeah. Uh let's see. What's your favorite book? Ooh. I got a lot. I like to read books, different genre books, so that's hard. But I would say the one at the moment I am rereading is Untethered Soul. So it's very good self-help book. Check it out, Untethered Soul. What about you? My favorite book 
It's not a current read, but my favorite, all time favorite, mm -hmm. is The Coldest Winter Ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Sure. No judgment over here, okay? <laughs> but that book, I think I read that book in middle school or high school. I can't remember. But, oh my gosh, that book was so good. I felt like it was so relatable, even if that wasn't the life you lived or the environment you grew up in. It, it just, you could really feel the events happening in that book. It felt so real to me. And I kind of, you know, had a little thing for the life that she lived. But, yeah, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I don't have like all time favorite books is just what's popping for me at the moment alright what is your favorite color my favorite color is purple most shades of purple I like more of the light lavender lilac tone of purple but I could deal with like an eggplant or something like that it just depends on if it's a fabric or if it's a furniture piece or something like that okay my favorite color is blue particularly like cobalt blue royal blues even getting into a little bit of the like turquoise greens blues but blue and then black is like right right next to it but blue. all right okay. let's see on a scale of one to ten rate your childhood i guess in the sense of like did you feel like your childhood, if you had to rate it from one to 10, was your childhood, do you feel like there was some things you missed out on or you feel like you really lived your childhood too? Um, you, you know what, looking at that, there's always room for improvement. You know, you always wish you had this experience, that experience, your parents did this or whoever you were raised by, or not, you know, raised by hair. There's always shoulda, coulda, woulda. But overall, I have to rate my it. Knowing other people's situations, mine was pretty good. So I, I'll probably give it like an eight. Okay. What about you? Um, I guess childhood stops at what? Technically, seventeen. Technically, <laughs> you're not an adult till eighteen. Um, I, I, I would have to rate my childhood a ten. Um, I felt like I did not miss out on anything. Um, I may not have experienced all that others may have experienced or was able to do a lot of what I wanted to do, but I feel like we did a lot. We did. Mine right. is an eight mainly because I did start developing depression between like 11, 12, and 13. So that's what made it less for me it wasn't nothing outside of that it was just me going through my own personal depression so and that that's understandable i can understand that but yeah i would say a 10. all right what is your favorite holiday i don't know that i have a favorite holiday um i am big on birthdays uh just because i like to be able to celebrate you know another year of life uh and prayerfully many more years to come so i am big on recognizing your birthday it may not be in a way of going all out but definitely recognizing it like it's not something where you're just like oh it's just another day no it's it's definitely a day to recognize because you made it another 12 months that you did not have to make and that's my same answer for the same reason, your birthday. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings other than I me? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have, it's a total of six of us, all girls. So, yes. And for those who don't know, she is my sibling. I'm the baby. She's the sibling. So, <laughs> do you got siblings? Girl, no. I ain't got no siblings. I used to want some, but, but no. I have five siblings. Um, like she said, we're sisters. Um, she's right after me. But we have uh, four older sisters. We don't have any brothers. No. But, yes, five siblings. 
All right. What is your favorite store? Um, my favorite store. I don't know that I have a favorite store. Um, I don't know that I have a favorite store. I don't think I. I don't think I have a favorite store. Mm -hmm. I'll maybe a store that I frequent is Walmart. Lies. It's Target. It may be Target. <laughs> <laughs> it may be Target. They they probably neck and neck. No yeah. reason it's probably Walmart because you can get your you can get groceries at Target too, but you more more getting them at Walmart. But yeah, it's it. Mine is probably like well now because I'm back into my art. It's probably like Hobby Lobby and um, Michaels. So that's like just a yeah. current thing because I'm going there more because I'm back into my art again. Mm -hmm. But okay. Um, what's your favorite restaurant? I got a quick thing about that. I used to say restaurant, not knowing that it is not pronounced restaurant. Who said that? The people. <laughs> it's not restaurant? It's Res restaurant. It's not restaurant. The text is in. Go ahead. What's your favorite? <laughs> uh, my restaurant is, um... <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite restaurant, but there's, I, I would say favorite type of food more or less is probably Korean. I'm just, I've been ham on Korean for about I thought you were going to say years. Indian. It is, it, Indian was before then. It was, it was Indian for about a good five years. I was Indian this, Indian that. But Korean food has taken over for the past like three to four years maybe. So, and I cannot pronounce the name of one of the frequent ones I go to, so we're going to just say Korean food. What about you? Um, my favorite, I would have to say, is Mexican. Mm. It's just a classic for us. We're from Texas. Love some Mexican. If it ain't barbecue, it's Mexican. All right. Did you like high school? Um... I liked high school in terms of I had a lot of great memorable moments in high school. Education wise, no. I was over it after my <laughs> ninth grade. <laughs> I was. I was over high school after ninth grade. I was like, this is for the birds. Like, what are we learning? How is this going to apply to day to day life? I was more of a practical realist person so i just did not see how physics and um what else did i take civics was going to apply to my day-to-day -day life so yeah but i did like high school in terms of the memories i liked high school too i went to a performing arts and international business of study school so um, I was into theater and AutoCAD and drafting and all of that. So that was the fun part of it. But like she said, the, the downside part of it is we didn't get a whole lot of applicable application type of stuff like taxes, like none of your taxes, mm -hmm. you know, all of that type of stuff that you actually use more or less day to day is like, I, they definitely need to bring like the whole economics, home study, yes. home, wait, wait, home, home ec, home ec. Yes. They need to bring the home ec and all of that other stuff like cooking, cleaning. People don't know how to basically clean the kitchen, no. the bathroom, vacuum. The dust. common sense of life just, needs to be applied just in the school. day to day balancing checks and you know, all of that stuff was missing. But overall, I liked high school. Alright. Um, so who are some of your favorite YouTubers or do you have a favorite YouTuber? Okay, I do have some. So we're going to do another video more based on like what we do for a living and all of that. But just to give a tidbit on that, it goes to the, my answers is because I started blogging and YouTubing in a small way back in like 2011 and 12. So around that time I was watching like Sunkiss Alba. Um, I was watching, oh Lord, I just have a brain freeze. I can't think of nobody right now. Um, the Glam Twins, I was watching Shameless Maya, I was watching, um, it's one girl I can't really, really think of, but a lot of these 
older YouTubers that started like in 2010, 9, 11, and 12, a lot of them, some of them aren't around as much anymore. Yeah. So, um, but I do have some newer ones that I started watching consistently since like 2014, which is like uh, uh, Lydia, Lydia Mullen Gordon. I definitely enjoy her. Um, so yeah, there's a few. I'm, I'm completely blank right now. But there are a few YouTubers that I watch. Probably Adam and later. What about you? Um, I remember years ago. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember how long ago this was. This probably was like, probably 2012 or something like this. I would watch this girl on YouTube. I don't remember her first name. I think it started with a D. But I know her last name or the last name she went by on YouTube was Montana. Mm -hmm. But she she had one of those channels where she would just kind of talk about like her daily personal hygiene routine. And she would show like her products that she used. And I really gravitated to her because she didn't use a lot of like perfumes or bath products that were heavily scented with like a perfume smell or heavy fragrance it would be like really clean um it would just be that classic i just got out the shower scent um and that was i just love how kind of simple but very in detail her videos were it wasn't anything over the top or expensive products so i think that's when i really got into wearing um certain fragrances because i usually would just put on lotion and oil and call it a day i think a lot of us just put on lotion and oil yeah. want a little bit of some of that bath and body works yeah all right so we're going to do uh, where are we What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite movie. Oh. I don't know if I have a favorite movie. Okay, well give like two or three that you like you just you can always watch. It won't like Okay. I can always watch a low down dirty shame. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Dream Girls. Mm. I love Dream Girls. And um, Love and Basketball. Okay. I love Love and Basketball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Coming to America is one of mine that I can just always, <laughs> always watch. <laughs> Um, Purple Rain. I'm a Prince fanatic. Um, we do enjoy musicals, so it's kind of a musical too. So like Dream Girls, and I don't know. I'm a kid at heart, so like the classic Disney movies like Little Mermaid, Lion King, yeah. Aladdin. I can just I can just still get down with them. Mm -hmm. I just can. I still enjoy them. So. Um, so what are some of your favorite TV shows? I'll say current or uh, those that have, are like syndicated shows now. Um, so I, I go through periods where I like rehash oldies but goodies. So like from January up until now, I've been Columbo and Murder, She Wrote. Just been mm. like, I just been rewatching them because now they're all on Prime, you guys. So like all the episodes that I might have missed because you go to school or you're just not up when they're on and you missed them and you couldn't record them with that VHS, <laughs> I got to watch all the seasons that they have. So that was cool. Um, right now, uh, I like, I don't have TV shows. There's more like channels. So I like the History Channel, um, HGTV, um, things like that. So, yeah. Um, favorite show. Is it shows or shows? Right, TV know. shows. Yeah. Um, well, I watch HGTV a lot. The network. It's no particular show. Yeah. Um, if I had to pick a particular show on there, um, currently, well, I think they have ended their seasons, but, um, 
fixer upper oh, yeah. with Joanne and Skip. That that was my favorite. <laughs> um, I used to love um, the game mm -hmm. when it was on, um, like originally when it came out. Right. Um, and mm, I don't know. I'm not like a huge TV person. Now I've gotten into these shows where like uh, one I like now is called Love Goals. Um, it's one of those couple counseling type shows, mm -hmm. but it's not tasteless. You know what I'm saying? It's very tasteful. Um, and I feel like in watching it, whether you're in a relationship or not, you can learn a lot about yourself, um, how you are when you are in a relationship. You may even recognize some things about yourself that you probably wouldn't have realized otherwise. So I'm into things like that now. Something that provides entertainment, but it's also like helpful and useful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um... What do you prefer, a PC, which is a personal computer, or a Mac? Both. I'm greedy. I want both of them. Preference, it's like, <clears throat> I guess for like production work, editing, and all that stuff, people say Mac. But can't sleep on the PCs too. So it's like, it's okay to have both in some form or fashion. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I would have to say both. Um, of course, if I'm on the go traveling or something like that the the, uh, the mac um like a you know laptop of course but um i feel like it's just some things that just work better using a personal computer mm -hmm. um or sometimes you need like a side by side situation where you may need your laptop here and then you may need the desktop as well so i would say both yeah how tall are you Child, you know, I'm tall and whatnot. I'm 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm average. I'm 5'5 five, five and a half. Okay, you just what you are, ain't average. I mean, I'm saying like average height for most females. Okay. How tall is you? I'm 5'8 and a smidge. I like my extra little on top. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a fur baby. I adopted him last year after being fur baby list for five years. And Was it that one? Yeah, he died. I had a shit zoo for 12 years. And um, he died 2012. And I got me another baby. And he's named Kai. You got any fur babies? I don't have any fur babies. I have a nephew named Kai. I have a nephew named Kai. Um, <laughs> I don't have time for a fur baby right now. I've had a fur baby before. Um, my favorite ever. I named her special. She was so spoiled, y'all. I treated her like a whole baby, literally. Like when she was and a she puppy, was a whole, I like was, almost golden retriever mix. Yeah, and she was so so timid. She was so sweet. <laughs> She was a sweet pie, but she passed away. Well, I think maybe I was in elementary or middle school. Mm -mm. You weren't that young. I wasn't even? Mm -mm. Oh, time flies. Yeah. But my polar feelings were so hurt. I was devastated. But, um, yeah, no, no fur babies right now. Maybe a little later when I slow down. All right, you guys. That is all the questions that we are doing today. We hope that you enjoy getting to know us a little better. And we hope that you like and subscribe. Don't forget so you can get more videos from us. Because on this channel, we're definitely going to be talking about health, being boss girls. Because we are entrepreneurs in our own right. And boss mommies. Boss mommies as well. <laughs> and we're also going to be talking about traveling. And just little tips and bit of teamwork. Because we call, we're going to have a series called Collab. Ambition and the importance of teamwork and collaborating. So please like this video give us a thumbs like up it. tell us more of what type of tags you would like us to do so you can get to know us more and stay tuned and we thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again in our next video peace